What in the Titanic? Please tell me. No, she's doing the same pose that's literally in the Titanic. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to Music Mania. I'm your host, Christina, and today we are back out with a brand new video. Alright guys, so for today's video, I am going to be reacting to XG's newest song called New Dance. Now, at this point, I feel like XG has been pumping out music videos like there's no tomorrow. I feel like it's what, every three weeks, three, four weeks or so, we always get something new. I did not realize how much content we were going to get this new album cycle. So, honestly, <laughs> it's so overwhelming. Everybody has been releasing new music left and right, and it's really, really hard to keep up. So just bear with me for the next couple of days as I get to all this new music here. As far as this new album cycle goes, I already have done reactions to both TGIF and Girl Gang, both of which you can check out on the iBucks up here once you're finished up with this video. Um, but both of those videos were really fun to make. Uh, Girl Gang, I still listen to quite a lot. TJF, I still listen to a bit here and there, but not as much as Girl Gang. Girl Gang is just... Girl Gang is still superior, honestly. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I cannot wait to see what this new song is going to be like. Um, and again, you know, for those of you who have already watched those other XG videos, you know entirely how I feel about these girls. I like them. I'm kind of bummed that I missed them at KCON this year because they're kind of nearby, but I couldn't go, so it's fine. It is what it is. I'll catch them the next time. Hopefully, they come around in, in my town, so there's that. But anyways, I'm not going to make this intro too long because, like I said, the rest of the XG videos tell you exactly how I feel about this group. So without further ado, let me pull up the video here and let's see what XG has to offer this time around. All right, so I have the video pulled on up here. And just from this first frame alone, it looks like we're at the beach. You know, of course, we have the ocean waves. And we have a really nice and beautiful sunset here. Oh, this shot is already so gorgeous. The video hasn't even started yet. So you know what? Let's do it. Let's just... Ooh. Wait. Already? Oh, wait. Harvey, I was not ready for you. Already, though, this outfit, though, she has on is gorgeous. But... I was not ready for that. Even Hanada too with this little jersey here. There's like these like little snaps and claps in the back. And out of that, the guitar, it's like an acoustic guitar or something in the back too. Ooh, okay. I I'm already gonna bop my head to this, aren't I? What lit girls? What is happening? Ooh, she's just pink highlights in her hair. What? Okay, I have a question. Well, why didn't we release this earlier in the summer? Because this is such a perfect, like, start to summer song. Ooh. Ooh, this would have been so good. I can already see this at, like, a beach bon- I don't know why I'm getting beach bonfire for some reason. I just- I just am. But also, just any single time that you have a party during the summertime, I can totally hear this being played. Whoa, okay, wh why did they fumble the bag that bad? This is like being released at the end of summertime, oh my goodness. Alright, that's a different situation. Also, Juria has- okay, why is it a thing now with K-pop idols? I don't know if anyone else has noticed, but they're doing that like rhinestone on the nose trend. Like every single K-pop idol, especially like the, the girls and stuff, they're all doing that- this one trend right here. It's really cute. Something I've noticed. Yes, Juria, yes. What the hell? What? I have a question now. What in the world is that? What is that? What is a, gr a green bag or whatever that is? The what is this? I'm so confused. Let's just keep going. Oh, Jury. Jurin. Okay, Jurin's outfit already. They're going. For okay, this is like. It's more like, smor like sports. Sports leisure wear? 
is what they're going for this time around. More casual wear? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that's what's going on. Okay. It's gorgeous, too. Jurors can pull off any outfit. All of them can. Yes, Maya, rapping over here like Nicki Minaj. I... Of course they had to put Jurin and Maya one after the next, like... <laughs> Oh, these two? These two together? Oh my goodness. Ooh, wait a- Hold on. These set designers and stylists, whoever they are for XG, are snapping so hard this era. I don't know what it is, but every single video they've put out so far. This set is gorgeous, especially with all them color coordinating the outfits. With the blues and the whites. These stylists are really on one. I don't know what they're doing to, you know, keep doing this kind of things like over here like this, but. Oh my god, this is so gorgeous. This is so cute. Oh my goodness, they're getting soaked already. What? What is happening? Okay, wait. Is there something happening here? Because why is Harvey walking down like an alleyway and why is Juria on the phone in some random cell phone booth? There has to be a way that all these videos connect to. Like, there has to be a reason why they're releasing all these videos like this. Yes, Kakona. What? Kokona's outfit, okay, these outfits, these casual, like, really casual athleisure wear outfits, that's what I'm looking for, athleisure outfits. You know, sometimes, sometimes you really don't have to go all out when it's not necessary, especially for a more casual song like this, it makes sense. Yeah, these look so, they're all, like, they all look so radiant, honestly. Ooh, ooh. Wait, Harvey's outfit too? It's giving very Barbie? What in the world was that shot? Okay, why did that low-key remind me of something that they would do in the 90s? This shot right here. Tell me that is not a 90s thing. Oh my goodness, please. It's giving very 90s Y2K, honestly. This entire song and video. Oh, Maya's glittery top too. Yes, Hanada, yeah, these these camera angles. Whoa, Jesus top? It's so colorful. Okay, wait, wait. Oh my goodness, now that they're in the club now, what is happening? Um what these outfits are so colorful. It's giving it's honestly at least they're pretty consistent with their last theme, you know, it's giving kind of like themes, you know, as far as outfit-wise goes, it's very colorful like Shooting Star and even how Left Right was. I wonder where this was filmed too. There's lots of really cool scenic shots in this video. I mean, this, this looks so much fun to film, it looks like they're having so much fun. What in the Titanic? Please tell me. No, she's doing the same pose that's literally in the Titanic. I am. Uh, she's literally giving Titanic. Tell me, tell me, and like, you cannot unsee that now, right? Please. She looks gorgeous, though. This white dress here with the blue. What in the starfish earrings? Hold on a minute. Okay, first off, these are humongous. These are humongous starfish earrings. Also, tell me why, speaking of end of summer movies, oh, if you know what reference I'm about to talk about right now, if you were born and living during this... Okay, please tell me, why did this remind me of the movie Aquamarine, where uh, the mermaid has, you know, the starfish earrings, and the starfish earrings, like, when you put them on, they talk to her and they give her all these compliments and stuff? It's giving very much that. 
Tell me I'm wrong. If you know that movie, you know that movie. Oh, that movie's so good. Oh, oh, Jojo, Emma Roberts, and uh, what's her name? Sarah Paxton. Yeah, they were so so phenomenal. Also, a little fun note that's actually probably one of my favorite movies of all time. But, anyways, I digress. Let's keep going. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, this po what in the world was I knew there was gonna be something fishy about this. Please, why did her eyes just twitch? Wait, excuse me, was that cheese? What in the world was that? I was like just admiring this like dreamy, you know, it looks like it's almost the end of the song, this dreamy part of the song right here. All of a sudden her eyes just twitched to different things. This has to do with the story for sure. Or like the whatever lore they're doing. Oh. We're gonna be shaking now. Okay, cool. I was not ready for that. Okay. Oh, Harvey, yes. My head is bopping. Oh, Kokona, yes. Why are they in the bowling alley? Whoa, okay, this video looks so much fun. It looks like they're having so much fun. This has to be filmed somewhere in California, right? Especially the beach scenes. See, yes, we're on the boat, we're having fun. See, this looks like... Please, this looks like somewhere it's in California. If it's not Los Angeles, it's probably San Diego. Oh my goodness, please. It looks so nice. This would have been so perfect during the beginning of summer. Oh my goodness, they're dancing in the ocean. Okay, wait, please, if they get down on the floor in the ocean, I am done. This video, please. Also, these outfits in the ocean. The these right here, what is happening? Okay, these outfits are gorgeous too. These the swimwear here and all the blue color coordinating is, ooh, so 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 good. Okay, please. The video's almost over. Okay, what? What in the world is this? Okay, this really has to do. This is like a lore. There's lore going on. Because why in the world is Kakona just staring? at the water and why did she get, uh, get inside a bubble this really yeah what in the she just teleported there where are they so what so what this blue and white area has a significance to it huh it's gorgeous Okay, um, there, yeah, there has to be a story to this. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get off this video right now and talk more about my thoughts coming up. All right, so that was XG with their new song called New Dance. Honestly, this one was pretty fun. I mean, like I said, during the video while it was happening, you know, while I was playing, uh, the why was this not released during the, like, early days of summer? Actually, this honestly could have even been released if it was ready by June 1st. Like, literally just drop it right when it hits June 1st. Because this song is so fun, it's so vibrant, so colorful. It's like, it's literally the meaning of summertime. I think the perfect way to describe the song would really be casual, you know, especially since you have... It's, it's stripped back for the most part. You know, of course, the main drive is that acoustic guitar and those snaps and claps, little beats in the background there too. Super casual, even the video reflects that too as well with their athleisure outfits and even the casual outfits and even the more of the futuristic stuff too. Which, speaking of, it's really feeding into the lore now. This really has to be some kind of storyline going on, especially with them releasing Girl, Girl Gang first. Of course, that video probably has to have the most significance 
in this new era that they're doing too it has to be something you know it, all these videos would have to connect somehow you know it wouldn't make sense if it didn't especially with the different eyes twitching and you know then kokona getting superpowers and teleporting it, it very much has to probably do with some kind of war i'm sure people are gonna be all up in that Maybe you guys will explain it in the comments, or maybe I'll figure out on my own with more research. Who knows? Um, Because it's really, really fun. I personally find it really fun to dig into lore and stuff. It makes watching K-pop videos especially so much more fun. Huh? It's really cool to see XG try different and new styles for them, especially ever since Girl Gang came out. Every single video that they've put out has been different from each other, you know, so they're all not sounding the same. Every single video and even song has its own style and it's really really cool to see them you know try out all these new different things and it's somehow it all still works like so far every single song that they've put out has actually been really really good like i don't think xg really makes terrible music i don't even think they put out a bad song to be honest at least from what i've heard um but it's it's really really cool honestly and i can't wait to see what other styles they come up with i'm sure there's going to be one more video i mean at this point who really knows because they keep popping out videos like there's no tomorrow but i'm sure with you know this last video that they're probably going to put out right when the new album comes out um i can't wait to see what that video will be and if there's going to be any other surprises on their new album coming up i'm really really excited to really get into that album and see what's going on there all right, guys, that is the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and also make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. I appreciate it so, so much if you did. Also, check out all my social media accounts on the, on the screen for you to definitely go follow and check out. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in Maniacs in the next video. Bye!